There's no point in delaying what we need to do. You need to talk to Kathy. Let's have a conversation with Kathy. Here we go. America. Oh wait, we're not in America. I forgot. We we don't want to talk about America. <laughs> <laughs> From the I'm last segment. You, guys. Uh, you know. Hey, listen. Um, I am going to talk about two different postings that you have on your page. Sure. Um, the next time you come on the show, we'll talk about some other things. But yes, I know that you are such a special woman. Mm-hmm that people need you, so I'll have to let you go. So I want you to know, it's not you, it's me. (laughs) (laughs) Sure, sure. That's the story. Hey, that took me a whole 15, 20 minutes to come up with that. (laughs) That's how slow I'm in. Well done. Keep keep trying. I don't don't know about that. That, You know, us men, we can be kind of, you know, pathetic sometimes with our, with our, (laughs) our reasons and our explanations. So here we go. Um, you are awesome. Um, the first segment, you knocked it out the ballpark. I'm, I'm afraid of what you're going to do now because here we go. You trusted me and, uh, you haven't wasted your time on that because, um, here we go. If you want to kill a big dream, tell it to a small minded person. (laughs) You Come have on. to go for the regular. <laughs> uh, okay. I, wait, you, you don't know you don't know the other one I got, so I actually have three. I have three you call it jugular, but I have three. And I Sometimes said I just wanna I wanna cut to the chase. Let's just cut to the chase. So, go ahead. What were you thinking when you posted that? By the way, that posting was done on May first. And okay. uh you say <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> you say five words that I think you should hashtag and it should, you should make a t-shirt and you should hashtag these five words and you uh-huh. should put your Instagram logo or name underneath it or a website underneath it. And yeah. it, you, the, the posting was, if you want to kill a big dream, tell it to a small minded person. Mm-hmm. Then in the comments, you wrote this. I said what I said. <laughs> yes. Do I know how to count? Yeah. I said what I said. There we go. That's fine. <laughs> Who taught fine me how to count? Word, yeah. Everybody's going like, "Whoa, what was that?" Okay. I love so that. Those, actually, that actually. should be a hashtag that you have on your page. I'm just saying. Yes. I I love when yes. you say that. It's like I'm drop the mic. I'm done. That's just like yeah. No. So what's no up? more. What's up with no that? more no. But now you have to comment. So go ahead. Sure. No, sure. I have so much for you in that case, Ryan. It's very simple. Okay. Birds of a feather flock together. Okay. okay. You've you said that. Go ahead. Hashtag that one with a little heart. Go ahead. Hashtag, or, or with yeah, a bird. Birds of a feather flock together. And they say, um, I, I heard this. I heard this. I don't know whether it was a sermon by T.D. Jakes, but I remember hearing it. But it was talking about people pretending to be ducks, you know, like ducks in the. Yeah. Uh-huh. I got lake. you. When you. they are actually egos, so they're going around quacking like ducks, and yeah. you know when they can literally defy gravity and fly for thousands of miles. Right. And that's basically it. If you have a big dream, and you want to kill it, guaranteed, please go and tell it to somebody who doesn't have big dreams for themselves, or somebody who wants to stay in the same level as you because here's a trick if you want to elevate and after oh oh gosh in fact actually i was dealing with a client the other day and she said to me kathy i don't know what's gonna happen when i change because i like you're encouraging me to right 
do my 60 days and right. change the way I have operated all my life, I feel like there are so many people in my life who are going to say, to think I'm pretending or I won't relate with them any other way. And I said, yeah. of course, you will lose friends. You will lose friends when you try to elevate yourself or to mm -hmm. try to move in a different way. And so long as you're doing it because for the greater good, so long as you're doing it for yourself to elevate yourself, right. it's fine to lose friends because it's in the same way. If you have a big dream of becoming whatever, if you, if you are flocking with people who have a different perspective from you, mm -hmm. i.e. not a big dream, guaranteed keep hanging on with them keep keep yeah. hanging out with them you're <laughs> yeah. still gonna create the same future as your past and yeah. that's the difference and i'm not saying go cut all your friends off in fact i don't even encourage that i say you start changing in, within and they literally start <laughs> you start growing the wings they'll start, drop, start they'll start dropping off is what you're saying yeah yeah okay. And that's okay because then you find more egos to fly with. Yeah, beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. Okay, now I, I like the way you you made you did that in a nice version because I'm quite sure Kathy uh, with her clients would probably be a lot tougher than that. So that was very yeah. nice of you. Wait, you got stuff on the screen? Nope. You got you got Andy here. Andy says long before Kathy was a therapist, she helped me in immeasurable ways. It is in her nature. Oh. Yeah. Wait, you, Andy. wait, 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 hold on a second. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's really cool. No, that's really cool. All right. Now you're going to have to help some people in a measurable ways because this next posting, I told yes. you I had, I told you I had two, but you did mm -hmm. that so well. I'm going to sneak another one in before we have to go. But this mm -hmm. is the second one. Well, here you go. Be careful of friends who project their fears to you in the form of advice. I, mean, I told you, man, I don't be playing around on this. This, this network don't be playing around. I Let's just get. I forget what I, hey, I what? post sometimes. Oh, do you? You shouldn't. Yes. You should. You should actually make a book out of it or or, or a newsletter. Okay, so it's yes. be careful of friends who project their fears to you in the form of advice. Now. Yes. You say in the comments something very, very profound and different than we've ever heard you say before. You said, I said what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Those are two oh, postings. What did I say in the comments? It just, they yeah. just, two postings go right together. So go ahead. It's the same thing. Again, if you are telling a big dream to a small minded person, they will project their fears to you by giving you advice they will say oh but people have tried it you know if you go oh, i want to start a new business or i'm actually thinking of um since i'm in the relationship niche if i'm thinking of going out dating and they'll say something like no I don't know that the world's full of cheaters out there you don't need to or i want to leave this relationship i'm not fulfilled and they'll say something like oh no no you shouldn't you should stay because come on, be thankful for what you have. Can you see that you have all this stuff? Are you going to miss it? So you got to be careful of who you're listening to, especially if you're trying to take a leap of faith in any situation. If I listen to my friends all the time, I try to do something, yeah. I would probably not be where I am. I yeah. have tended to just leap yeah. And sometimes I fall. I'm not gonna lie. It's not like every time I leave. No, right. like, <laughs> you're not, you, so you're not soaring and hitting clouds all the time, but you're not afraid to leap. Yeah. But yet, I just okay. So I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask you this. Mm -hmm. Have you been able to recognize the friends that are small-minded? Yes, I but have. have. And have, this is what you do. Go ahead. Wait, wait, before you say that, have you recognized yeah. the ones that you thought maybe would have told you no or surprised you because they were the ones cheering you on? Um, I have had, you mean like when they encouraged me to do something that wasn't good for me? 
No, no, no. They, they actually, maybe you told them, Hey, I'm going to start this business. And you thought maybe they would say, no, that's a bad idea. But instead they turned around and surprised you and said, you know yeah, what? I've had yeah. both. So I've had both. And the way to do it is, and this is like, we're social creatures. If you're excited about an idea, do it. Like shout out to my friends because they are amazing. They're the ones that are first to sign up on my webinars. They're the ones to come to me and encourage me and tell me, keep going. Even the craziest ideas I've ever had, right? They, are, this, are, they must be the ones giving you all this love on the screen. Frederick uh, <laughs> Brown, Adam, you get, you're getting love from others on the screen that are saying hello to you and people that yeah. are coming. Go ahead. You were saying, go ahead. Um, but I've also have friends and, and this is what you do if you have friends who are giving you, projecting their fears to you because they don't know they're doing that. Most mm -hmm. of them don't know they're doing that, right? If I were to start, it, like I've been bitten before with starting a business that went really badly, right? Mm -hmm. So if a friend came to me and told me that sometimes, and that's why I'm saying self-awareness is key, sometimes you get to a point where you say, oh, you shouldn't do it like this because of this and this. But at that point, I've got to ask myself as the friend giving the advice is, am I doing it out of fear that they will leave my circle? Yeah. Or am I doing it out of love to tell them these are the things to look out for and I'm behind you 100%. Yeah. Right. The, I, I read somewhere that you've got to know who to be, who to chill out with. You don't have to tell your dreams to everyone, <laughs> That's true. right? But yeah. you and and no, everyone should support your dreams either. Mm -hmm. You just have to be. You have to know who supports your dreams and who to tell them to, and then who yeah. to chill with and have yeah. a good time. Right. Because. That, that's that's the circle of friends you can't yeah. just say oh i'm gonna all my friends are gonna have to be successful friends and da, da, da. Yeah. no go with them go out partying do whatever but then when you need to focus on something that scares you when you're doing your like we say dahlia zero to 60 yeah. at that okay. time you don't want any friend that's gonna say maybe you should go back yeah. You don't want a friend that's going to side with a neural connection that you're trying to erase from your life. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yay. You need a posting on that. If you don't haven't done it, you need friends yeah. that work within your neuro, neuro how'd you say it? Your neuro the new neural connections. Oh, there you go. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what you you need a posting on that. That's pretty good. Okay, now yeah. <sighs> hashtag it. I'm telling you, I said what I said. That okay. should be your thing. Every time somebody says Kathy's name, they they <laughs> should think that. Well, what would Kathy say? I said what I said. You heard me. Yeah, what you know. Said. All right. Now here, here we go. Last one. Now, <laughs> all right. We all have a choice. Mm -hmm. This is you. This is your posting. Know, we yeah. all have a choice to be bitter or be better. Again, the posting was: we all have a choice to be bitter or better. That was on March 9th. Now, just bear with me here. Here we go. I recently came into a life challenge, these are your words in the comments, mm -hmm. that challenged mm -hmm. my views of many things. Mm -hmm. Somehow, I had to be more patient and accept that I did not have the answers to everything. Mm -hmm. You continued writing and you said this, therefore, I'm learning to let go of the things I can't control. Yes. Slowly, you put... The, your last words were slowly learning to surrender to my experiences. Yes. Now, oh. this was your posting on March 9th. Again, we all have a choice to be bitter or to be better. Why was it important for you to share this with all of social media? Because this is like now the core of my being. <laughs> okay. Right. All right. All right. I have slowly started to realize, like, I could talk about this for hours, but I'm going to summarize, okay? <laughs> hey, you can't do that because you got other things to do. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Number one, we are basically wired to run away from things that hurt us and go towards pleasure, right? Okay. All right. That's why you look at the road. That's why if you touch something that's hot, you're not going to touch it again, even as a baby or a kid, right? Okay. So what really 
kind of doesn't go with me in the personal development world is people who think that I'm going to do this and I'm going to be so happy. I'm not going to have any life challenges, right? Okay. I am going to whiz through life because I've done a course on relationships. In fact, my relationship will be amazing. There'll be no <laughs> argument. We're going to just agree you know, all the time. We're going to we're going to agree gonna, all the time. Birds you will know, come into our bedroom. Be, birds will come in our bedroom know. and pull the sheets back and we will be happy. <laughs> We'll exactly. never have to. We never have to brush our teeth ever again. <laughs> exactly. It's gonna be happy, Dory. I'm not gonna have all a right. headache and all that. And the reason this movement is led mostly by a create my own reality movement. Have you seen it? The no, I manifest haven't. create. So it's all about that. The fact it's a very powerful thing. It's about the law of attraction and the fact that we co-create. If I if I if I want negativity. I, all I have to do is think negative thoughts and everything in my life will start looking so negative. Mm. Right. So, but so that, that really grinds my gears. And what I wanted to do in this case was actually say to the people that when you have life's challenges, like we, we're brought into this life to expand and guess what? You're going to face challenges at some point. You're mm. going to, you know, mm. when you go to the gym, you don't just sit in the gym and the weight just melts off, right? You don't, you do reps and they're hard. If you want to gain muscle, you do reps and those reps suck and they're hard. And you're like, why am I doing it? So when you get hit by life's challenges, what do you do? You have a choice to be bitter or to be better. You can have a choice to say, oh, I was abused as a kid which means i'm going to be bitter and abuse everyone else that comes my way right oh i'm having a bad day which means i'm going to be honking at everyone i'm going to be really terrible terrible yeah. my favorite speaker zig ziglar says that there's 10 really really nasty people in the world you know the <laughs> nastiest like just horrible uh, bad people. He's, there's only okay. 10 of them but All they right. move around a lot they move right? around so a might, lot yeah so you might you might run into one so so there there could be a few in my neighborhood today and then in your neighborhood tomorrow okay i get it go yeah, ahead yeah, go that's ahead. why you don't meet them every time but <laughs> they do yeah. move around a lot okay. yeah all right and so when you're going through a life challenge you've got to realize okay what am i working with and for me it's the act of surrender because what we're going to try and do at that moment in time, we're going to try and move from being, um, we're going to try and move from away from pain and towards pleasure as fast as you can. If you're going through a life situation, you're going to try and move towards pleasure. But sometimes it's good to pause and say, am I doing that? Am I moving forward with bitterness or am I, am I moving forward with with being better, my what am I learning? What's what's being taught out of me in this one? Mm -hmm. And again, the growth makes you realize, okay, I need to learn this, which means I need to surrender to the process of learning this. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the challenge will keep getting presented in a different way until you right. learn that lesson. Right. Instead of trying to escape, we find ourselves instead literally allowing circumstances to become an experience. Yeah. So when it becomes an experience, it's going to bring a measure of uh, challenge, uh, pain, trial, or tribulation, as it were, depending on how we look at it, and the depth and the gravity of it, I the intensity yeah. of it, I the intensity of one thing may be different than another. But yes. once we go through the experience and don't run from it mm -hmm. and literally are true to who we are and and go through it yep. we there's a greater chance if it does come back around we're not gonna just step into it this time we're gonna know what it is and see it coming exactly. instead of having it blindside us and we become exactly. stronger you know what you can't be blowing my mind like this and then tell me you gotta <laughs> go that's like that's coming that's like coming by bringing some good food and leave and then go like <laughs> Um, bring, me, bring, like, bring me my dish back and I'll go like no can you put something else in it and I keep it <laughs> alright you 
that made no sense. But then too, I told you I had a, I had my, my, va my vaccine uh, hangover. So I, I need to, I need to go now. Uh, those were the three that I wanted to do before you left today. Don't even start thinking that was the only three I ever have. I've got a whole lot more off your page and you keep, you keep uh, posting some very encouraging uh, points for people to think of. I have to tell you this. Uh, no, I can't. No, I can't. I can't tell you that. Anything you want to say before you go, drop the mic moment, anything you want to say to everybody before you go that has nothing to do with uh, religion, politics, or racism? So, 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 because we could be here another 900 years. So, no, oh, no, no, no. Okay, so anything encouraging you like to pass on in regards to relationships and what we've talked about today, friends, for example, uh, that people need to keep in mind, uh, or about your coaching services, anything you want to say to everybody? Right. Okay. Uh, thank you for everyone that joined. It's so encouraging. It's my first. It was my first live. No, that's right. I'm sorry. What am I talking about? I forgot. I totally forgot. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So totally I forgot. feel amazing. That's I will right. always, always mention you. So thank you for <laughs> being with me. Uh, you can join me on my page, and if you want to learn about love blockers which is a quiz that i've done that tells you what love blockers you have you can do the quiz and then it delivers to you results of what love blockers are dominant in your life and it helps you kind of start to heal from those love blockers so you can start attracting a healthy relationship but other than that whether you don't want to do the quiz or not just keep going wherever you are just keep going. If you're on day zero, if you're on day 60, keep being true to yourself. Keep mastering who you are because that's the start of something great. And keep expanding. We're here to expand. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, you have to go. And uh, I'm going to go, but you, you need to go because people need to talk to you and see you. Um, thank you for doing your first live with me. I have to tell you this. I did. I did. I, I totally forgot. I knew it when we were going to do it before and we had the technical difficulties. But um, because you did your first live with me, this is what happens. There will come a point in which you will be too busy to ever talk to me. It happens yeah. to every. You know what? Don't do. Don't do that. That's that's. Don't do that. That's <laughs> like my. That's like my daughter's telling me, Dad, we'll never get married. We'll be with you forever whatever <laughs> so listen right, okay. so so yeah. you you, you yes you will be so busy that you won't have time for me when i go like hey by the way you think you'd like to come back on the show again and you'll be like well yeah you know what uh, contact me in a couple of months and let me know uh so when you're on the red carpet please remember paxton and just you know lean into the mic and go paxton hi like that to me I and uh, that that's all i want no money nothing else <laughs> you know when you're famous <laughs> sitting next to jay-z and beyonce you know just just say hi to me uh, yeah, do me a huge class. favor. Please remember this. You are a woman who is well beyond your years in wisdom and well beyond your years in insight and well beyond your years in discernment. You're a very discerning woman. You're a very insightful woman. And without a doubt, you treasure higher wisdom. And what I mean by that is when I say higher wisdom, you you decipher and see what wisdom is the optimal, will give you the optimal usage in the moment you're in. Now, there was a moment in your life as you shed it, uh, sh shared with us and shed light on in which uh, you knew that you had a bad American you were dealing with and a few other people in your life you allowed, but you have rebounded from that to the point that you are now sharing your wisdom, your insight, and your discernment with other women. Whether they agree with you or not, I noticed yep. that is not your main thing. You just, <laughs> excuse me, you just want others uh, to know that they don't have to go with a knee-jerk reaction when they speak to a man. Or yes. a man doesn't have to have a knee-jerk reaction in anger when he's speaking to a woman. But mm. like you said in the first segment and in your posting, we can choose the words that can build or grow beautiful things inside other people. I love the yep. work that you do. And um, you need to go away and go do some stuff that's better than hanging out with me. All right. So uh, thank you so much. 
Uh, you Thank are awesome. You uh, you're getting a lot of love on the screen. And uh, you, I got to say what's up here right now. Super genuine is what Andy said about oh, you. He posted. Thank you, Andy. Okay. You need to hashtag that too, by the way. Uh, uh, we will see you later and we'll do this again. Congratulations on your first live and go Yay. have fun. Thank go have you. fun on your, on your next project. We'll see you later. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. We'll see you again. Have a good weekend. Bye.